First, I apologize if my voice cracks or I cry, because I'm being awfully emotional this morning for some reason. I want to thank Joni and all of the team for being such wonderful people and, sh and, and keeping everything so clear. Um, my name is, is Bobby Dufoe, and this is Sally Worley, and we'll be the co-chairs of this convention. And we want to, want to thank all of you for giving us the privilege we can call it that, of being able to host the 73rd Worldcon in Spokane. Um, it's a great site. You all love it when you get there. Uh, we'd like to thank Helsinki and Orlando. Um, they are very able uh, bidders against us, our adversaries, not adversaries, our, our competition, because we made some really close friends in the couple years that we've been associated, sitting next to each other at tables at various cons. We've made some lasting friendships between those, uh, those people and us that we will take away and remember these people forever. Um, I think that was pretty much what I was going to say. I want to thank everybody here for voting. I want to especially thank the people who voted this number two. <laughs> <laughs> the election for us. So thank you very much. Bobby has more to say. Let's make that the Orlando supporters that were kind enough to vote us number two. Um, the 73rd World Con will be called Sasquatch. That's a playoff Sasquatch and the Sasquatch Militia, of course, was here this weekend. Uh, they promise, as I mentioned, to provide us the berries, the salmon, and all the nuts we need. Um, we intend to evoke some of the best mythological spirits of the Pacific Northwest in our theme. And the focus of our Worldcon uh, will, will involve some of the native cultures. We're going to use a loose uh, play on uh, Shadowrun, since it was based in the Pacific Northwest pretty much. Um, there is some real depth and breadth of uh, mythology that involves the Pacific Northwest. And some of you went to Cascadia Con in 2005 and experienced tree octopuses and, and the Sasquatch militia and some of the other things that can be played with. We think we'll have a theme that will be fun for people, fun for costuming, fun to play with. And then we'll bring in the city to, to be involved with us. And, and I'll talk a little bit about that later. Um, our dates will be August 19th through 23rd, 2015. That's because uh, we support the idea that uh, with the school starting earlier, we want families to be able to join us. That also was a great date for our convention center and allowed them to give us a really great deal. Um, now one of our, our vice chair, Lynn Blazer, up here. Blazer, up here. <laughs> of course I've got to screw that up. He'll announce our guest of honors. Oh, uh, push number four. Uh, well, okay, that's one. That's one. Um, so first of all, um, I'd like to thank the Spokane Committee uh, for giving me the privilege of leading the Guest of Honor Selection Committee. Um, it was a fair bit of work, but it was also very rewarding. Uh, some of you who are Facebook friends with me will have seen a post every so often that said, it's a great day when I can make someone's day, and they weren't even expecting it. And that meant that someone had accepted. Um, because it reminded me of why I do this, which is to make, to make people happy. And, um, and it really made people very, very happy. Um, with that, um, I assume, or I hope, that many people here are familiar with the uh, game show called Jeopardy. Um, the category, Alex, is award-winning Spokane Guests of Honor. And I encourage you, I will throw up the answers first. I will encourage the audience to shout out the answer in the form of a question, um, if you think you know uh, who it is that will be on the next slide. This San Antonio native holds the Hugo Records for both, for both the most fan artist nominations and the most fan artist awards. Who is Brad Foster? When this prolific Hugo and Nebula award-winning author and scriptwriter was asked to be a guest, he said it would be no trouble at all. 
Diddy, who is David Gerrard. Oh, oh, this Pacific Northwest Hugo and Nebula Award-winning author founded the Clarion West Workshop and is in the dedication of the Heinlein novel Friday. The man in the back has it. Julius Vonda McIntyre. This 14-time Pegasus Award winner composed the theme for International Talk Like a Pirate Day. Thank you. And it's frequently been featured on the Dr. Domino Show, and indeed, who is Tom Smith? This Hugo Award winning Massachusetts fan invented the world run tradition called First Night. That concludes this. There will be uh, PR zeros handed out with more of the information and details and all that kind of stuff. Um, I think we're to questions. Yes? Yeah, let's want to say Okay. Well, I, I was going to mention we're going to be at the table beginning at noon uh, to do uh, registration and conversions. We kept our presentation chart because we know you have a lot of questions. We still have our a uh, couple of our convention people here, our, our hotels, and they would love to answer any questions, but they do have a plane to catch. So if you have hotel or city questions, let's get them first. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Single double with some quad options as well. Five. Five. The other five. Turn the lights on. Five. 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 Oh. <laughs> there you go. The question was how many of the hotels, or how, how close are the hotels to the convention center? And we've got um, numerous hotels ranging from two block, well, ranging from attached two blocks, there. four blocks, and eight blocks. So it'll really depend on your preference of where you want to stay and what your rate range preference is. Those blocks are small blocks, they're not like some of our cities. If you're walking at all here in the River Walk or from the convention center to the farthest to Marriott, that's about the, the space that most of our hotel rooms are in. It's a very short distance. If it does happen to get hot, which 85 degrees isn't really all that hot, uh, there's a co there are covered walk at this too. Yes. Another hotel question. Are, are there enough suites in any of the hotels to be able to have a party hotel? Uh, I <laughs> One of the things that I did when I toured Spokane was tour party suites. And I asked every single general manager of every single hotel to assure me that I could throw parties in his hotel. Seattle is known for some really rotten parties. Loud noises, they have to carpet or re-carpet the floor. You know, they put down carpet and they do the walls. I gave them the worst horror stories I could think of. Every bad thing I've ever seen in a party in Seattle, I described to these guys. Every single hotel, including the Davenport, assured me we could have parties in their hotel. Do you have any writing because it's not worth the papers? As a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> Yes, all of them. All of them have more suites than I've experienced recently in most hotels. This has been really good, but a lot of times we've had to do a lot of suite swapping. All of these hotels are really good. We'll probably use the Red Alliance because they have these beautiful big outdoor balconies that we can use. But, uh, but we're still talking to the other hotels. Is it going to have to, are the parties have to be across the or hotels, which is what I was asking you. No. Question? Repeat it, please. Will, will the parties need to be across three or four hotels? No. Um, there is a 3,000 square foot uh, luxury suite in the top of the Davenport that I really think would make a really great Oak Park party. <laughs> Especially since we have less. Yes. I, I, are the, or do any of the, the hotels have uh, 
As a matter of fact, the red line that I mentioned the first week they showed me had this really yeah, killer. Oh, for the, the regular room, room. kitchenette. No. Oh, uh, question? The Oxford Suites does have kitchenettes, and most of the hotels have uh, refrigerators upon request that you can have delivered to your room. They have more in the Oxford Suites from the center. Right across the river, um, 450 size 8 footsteps. And there's a bridge right there. Um, yes. No, you have to swim. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you know how these little bridges cross this river? There's a bunch of those too. Okay. Okay. But they're flat. Yeah. They're flat. Yes. Do you, do any of the uh, hotels uh, that you're contacted contacted with have spas attached? Spas. Yes. As a matter of fact. Yes. Uh, the Davenport Hotel has a spa on site. There's also several spas in our downtown area, so we should be able to accommodate. <clears throat> Yes. When will hotel reservations be available? Um, when will hotel reservations be available? Sally and I have to go down and sit down and finalize our contracts, and right after that, and I assume uh, Bruce Farr and I, Bruce Farr is our treasurer, and Sally, we have to sit down as well. He's scheduled to come up after the SWAC general meeting on the 27th, so I would say about a month, maybe two. Uh, actually, that can work for you guys. Actually, I'm being told it's way too early. The hotels will be ready, but I guess it's way too early. So, but it will be early, and that's the best answer I can give. Thank you very much. But I just got to say, you know, we're in a lot of, I, I'm going to get that question, but I just want to say about my just mistake just then. I need a lot of advice. I learned in Chicago that I don't know a lot of things. And, um, <laughs> I'm hoping that Dave will advise me <laughs> but I just want to point that out. I know I don't know. Well, <coughs> not only Bobby doesn't know, but I don't either. And this is one of the things we know going in. The two of us, we're going to need lots of help, lots of advice. We count on prior chairs to tell us horror stories of the worst things. And we really want to learn and have people talk to us and tell us what's going on because if nothing else, we have observed and working for world cons over a period of years what we do not know. Yeah, what we're saying here is not, we, we want you to know we're approachable. We actually will put together a team of people that are really smart and then do these jobs and that can do the jobs correctly. So I don't want to give you the impression that we just don't know shit, but we do. I mean, we've done a lot of the jobs. It's just on the scale of a world con to give you what you expect and you all have really high expectations. We need you to tell us what you expect. Yes? Where will Con Suite be located in, in relationship to the convention center? We haven't really discussed that. That's kind of a little ahead of the plan. What was Next. the question? Uh, the question was, where will Con Suite be with relation to everything else? Yes, Dave. Would you like some money? <laughs> we would love some money. What are you willing to do for it? <laughs> oh, a really great world con? Thank you, Dave. <laughs> No. 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 The question was, would I like some money? And this is thirty thousand seconds. Thirty thousand seven hundred dollars. You guys rock. Thirty thousand seven hundred dollars. We would like, we would briefly like to thank the Shaikon Committee for their uh, pass along funds. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> so the next question was what conversion rates would be. Um, our attending rate off the bat will be $140. We intend to try to keep our prices as low as we can. We, we have had a great experience with our convention center and our hotels, so we believe that we'll be able to keep it less, considerably less. We have to work out our numbers, and we'll keep you all posted on that. The supporting uh, rate is 40. The conversion is 100. If you are converting from supporting only, you didn't vote. Um, young adult is 90. Conversion to young adult is 50, or conversion for young adult is 50. Child is 60. Kids in tow are free. 
pre-supported and voted converting to attending is 80. Friend and voted converting to attending is automatic and you get a t-shirt, right? Pre-support did not vote, no discount. Friend did not vote, automatic supporting. And how long will that be in When we start working on our budget, we intend it to go through the first of the year, we may go longer. Any other questions? One more question. What if you voted but you did not pre-support? I mean, you might have said that in my hearing. Voted and did not pre-support? A hundred. Okay. Thank you very much.